Cross Country RV Tech and Solar. So I'm gonna try to show you a little bit of this week's install. Uh, they live in their rig here, so they're around all the time. So it's a little hard to film when the customers here and stuff. But they were going getting some stuff, so I figured I'd show you a little bit what we're doing this week. Uh, this is an older Newmar Dutch Star. It's like a big mid nineties or something. So it's a little different. I'm gonna turn around here and show you what we're doing. So here we go. This is underneath the bed, obviously. So we're gonna put four four battle borns in here. So those are 100 amp hour batteries, like always. So 400 amp hours. We got a multi plus two here. I was just out making some cables here. So we got some four out wire. Uh, we got the blue that matches the Victron on this one. It's gonna look nice. Uh, this is gonna actually have two solar controllers. There's only one here, a 100 amp controller. This one we're trying to maximize the solar because this guy's goal is to be able to run an air conditioner while he's driving down the road without having the generator run. So we're gonna stuff as much solar as we can on the roof. You know, it should be somewhere around 2,500 watts. So we'll have, you know, 14 to 1,600 watts on this 100 amp controller. And then we'll have a second 50 amp controller. That'll probably have somewhere around 800 watts on it. And we're also gonna put in an Orion DC to DC charger. I don't have that here yet. Oh, it's back at our RV. But that'll also give him 30 amps of charging while he's driving down the road. Oh, we got the Lynx distributor and cutoff switch over here. The smart shunt. We got it all kind of mounted together. That's going to go on that back wall right there. Uh, you can see that round hole down there. That's where like the AC in, AC out is going to come through that hole and into the inverter. Right underneath this floor here is where the shore power cord is. Um, and that's where like the lines for the generator go and stuff. This does not have an automatic transfer switch. It just has a black little box. I'll take you out and show you that. So this is actually the bay where the short power cord is. That's what this is, obviously. This plug right here goes to the generator. So what they do is they just plug their short power cord into this when they want to get power from their generator. So it's no automatic transfer switch like you see these days. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just unwire everything here. The shore power cord wires into this box. It leaves this box, goes to the breaker panel box. I'm going to unwire this here, and essentially this side will be AC out, and this side will be AC in of the inverter. Up here on the roof, like I said, we're going to stuff as many panels up here as possible. So ideally it's going to be four 360s, and then either four 250s or four 210s. Still waiting on the solar panels to show up. Hopefully they show up here in the next day or two, or I'm going to be in trouble. But I got the two tens. I just don't have the bigger ones. So that's where we're at, guys. So there you go, guys. That's kind of a walkthrough of this week's install. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be able to film. I'll hopefully be able to film at least a real quick part two of showing you when everything's done. It's just, again, it's hard to, hard to film the customers here. Um... So whatever, we're really trying to bring you guys some more content, more of our installs. We do do an install every week. It's just the YouTube channel is like fourth or fifth priority for us. We got lots of life changes coming. We're thinking about trying to bring you guys some other content besides just our installs and take you along the way with some of our travels and stuff. So, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, some of that may just end up on Instagram, but either way, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you much. What's up guys, so this is where we're at with this one. We're getting somewhat close to being done, except for I have no solar panels yet. They have not arrived. Today is day number 17. They are supposed to be here today, but it is quarter after two and I haven't heard anything, so I'm getting a little worried. Anyways, got the batteries, 400 amp hours, all wired there, catastrophic fuse, cutoff switch, links distributor, multi plus two, and we got two solar controllers, 150-70, 150-100, and then a DC to DC charger. And down here is the servo. That's where, this was all the cord length I had, so that's why this ended up there. The screen is right there. So, again, no solar panels yet, so there's nothing to show you on the roof, but... I have not done the 120 volt side yet, but that will come through this hole. It'll come up through that hole, and that's all right underneath there. So whatever, we're making progress. I'll be uh, happy to get this one behind us, so uh, we'll see you at the end. 
so this is where we're at so far we got the six two tens up here which was originally going to be four and then it was going to be five and now it was six so this roof is going to have 2700 watts on it at the point we're done but we're still waiting on a delivery of 360s kind of starting to wonder if they're ever going to show up getting a little nervous but hopefully monday's the day but at this point who knows um but we're getting there so we finally got our delivery of panels after waiting and waiting and waiting. So we got our 360s up here. There's four of them total. So there's one here, two, three, and number four right there. And then we got six, two, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, and number six is right here. So that's a total of 2,700 watts. I got the two entry glands. I got the two tens there and the 360s going down there. So this turned out pretty well. I mean, 2,700 watts on this size motorhome. I think it's 34 feet is what it was. And you can still fairly easily walk from end to end. So I think it turned out pretty well. I'm super appreciative uh, for the customer that was very patient and waiting for these solar panels to show up. I'm glad they were able to just kind of hang out a couple days for them to get here. So we're finally done with this one, guys. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.